Question number three says calculate the net torque, magnitude, and direction on the beam in the figure below about the following axes. So what we have here is in A, it says an axis through O perpendicular to the page, and B says an axis through C perpendicular to the page. So the first one says if we had an axis right here, and it's, it's labeled O, if we had an axis right there, what would be the net torque? And so because this uh, this force is acting on the axes and it has a it has basically a radius an r value of zero it's going to have zero net torque uh, from that so the distance from the from the origin is the dis uh, the distance from the axis is zero so the uh, the um, the whole thing turns to zero when it's multiplied so it, we can disregard the thirty for the f for the first step. And, and then so we're looking at the 25 and the 10 Newton forces and we say that the 25 Newton force is going in the counterclockwise direction and its force is, is equal to so the magnitude we're wanting to know um, at what magnitude this this is right here and so you can get that um, actually two ways so we could calculate that this is actually 60 degrees right here and so we could do 25 sine 60 or we could figure out that that this this triangle works as well so that this right here is 25 cosine 30 and I think if you plug those into your calculator you'll find out that you get the exact same answer for both of those and so we also have to realize that this is four meters and this is acting at the halfway point of those four meters so it's it's got a, an R value of of two meters so we do 25 sine 60 times 2 meters and that gives us a net force uh, from what we'll call our net torque I'll, we'll call it T1 equals 43.3 and that's in the counterclockwise direction so that's Newton meters and it's in the counterclockwise direction and we do T2 T2 was 10 Newtons and it's at 4 meters so 10 Newtons sine 20 so 10 sine of 20 degrees times the 4 meters this gives us a torque of of 13.68 uh, Newton meters in the clockwise we'll, we'll call it clockwise CW clockwise direction so you have to sum these guys up so the clockwise we'll call negative the counterclockwise we'll call positive and so the net force is 4.3 or the net torque I keep saying force the net torque is is the sum of of each individual torque so 4.33 uh, plus negative so plus negative 13.68 equals and so actually this decimal goes right here by the way so 43.3 minus 13.68 equals 29.62 Newton meters and that's going to be traveling in the so it's a positive number it's going to be traveling in the counterclockwise direction the counterclockwise and the next part of that question says in part B assume that C C is our axis perpen and is perpendicular to the page so all of a sudden this 25 value just like uh, the first step where the 30 was had a zero distance the 25 has a zero distance now so it produces a zero net torque and so we just have to calculate the 30 and the now because the the distance has changed um, we can't we can still we can no longer use 13.68 as our our torque here because the 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 radius the arm has changed and so we got to redo all this so it's for the 10 it will be now 2 so half of 4 2 times 10 sine 20 and so we'll do, we'll do we'll call this t2 still equals 2 times 10 sine 20 where 2 is our is our meters meters and this is the 10 is our newtons and that is so so t2 equals 6.8 Four, which you'll find is is exactly half of the 13.68 that we came up with for the the first one, and then we'll say T3 is the is the 30 newtons, so it's 
it's we're, we're trying to find the force in this direction, so it's 30 times sine of 45 times the distance of 2. So 30 sine 45 degrees times 2. This this gives us a net torque of torque 3 is uh, equal to 42.426 newton meters. And so then you have to uh, realize that T1 again was in the negative direction, so we can add these together, 42.426 plus the negative 6.84 equals uh, roughly 35.58 newton meters, and it's a positive number, so it's going in the counterclockwise direction. It's going in the counterclockwise, let me redraw that counter clockwise direction.